Hello everyone, I know it's really late, but I'm going to be sharing my July favorites with you today. And as far as you can see, the color of my hair is now red. For those that follow me on Instagram, you probably have already seen that I had my hair colored by the guy Tang. I absolutely love him and I'm so excited that he's my new hairdresser. So I hope you guys enjoy it and we'll do a little bit more hair talk at the end of the video. But for now, let's just talk about my July favorites. <laughs> Better late than never, right? So I'm going to start with my Clay de Peau Face Enhancers. As many of you know, I love 13 and 14. I've been wearing them non-stop for the last month or so, but I finally went ahead and reviewed all of them on my blog. As you can see, the cases are just absolutely gorgeous. And just to mix things up, I decided to use number 12, which is the gold version today, just because I've worn 13 and 14 fairly often, so now you know how they look on my skin in action, but 12 is a lot more subtle, I would say, on my skin tone because it blends in more. And it's still very effective, but it's just a lot more subtle in effect. So if you have darker skin, like medium to tan to really dark skin, it will have more impact on your face. But I do think that all of them are really flattering and all of them are worth owning. So it just really depends on your complexion and your preferences. So check out the blog post, I'll link it down below in the description box if you're interested in learning more about my holy grail highlighters. Now for my favorite new lashes. I've been loving this brand called Ivory Lash and first of all I love their packaging. I love the gray and the white pattern with the contrasting mint and the glossy font. I just, I'm a design nerd in that element so I love great packaging. And more importantly, the lashes are really comfortable. So I love that these natural lashes have this thin cotton flexi band so they're comfortable for all day wear. Even though they're mink lashes, they're not heavy, they're fairly long lashes lasting and I just love how natural they look. They feel soft, they feel feathery to the touch so that they the tips don't look really awkward and chunky. I wear Hey Lover and Smitten Kitten the most just because I feel like they're the perfect look for looks for everyday use. I just love natural lashes these days so if you're looking for really comfortable mink lashes definitely try Ivory Lash. They were also kind enough to offer us a discount code so if you're interested in purchasing these lashes definitely check down below for all the coupon code information. Now we have some body products and I'm going to go into skincare after this. This is the True Self Organics Raw Body, Bu Raw Body Butter <laughs> and I love this because it comes in a tin. This is suggested for those with eczema, dry skin, wrinkles, scars, stretch marks. I just love it because I have dr really dry skin on my body, like my elbows, my underarms, my knees, and that's just because I really don't like lotion for dry skin. I feel like lotion for dry skin is just heavy, greasy, it leaves so much of a sticky residue, I feel like it never absorbs. So that's why I decided to try this raw body butter. And I, at first I thought, oh geez, it's solid, what am I going to do with this? But I just warm it up between my fingertips and it's awesome because my hands are dry, so my hands are moisturized at the same time. And then I just warm it up and then apply it to my elbows and wherever needs a quick fix of moisture. And I just think that it actually works. I've also been using the True Self Organics Raw Honey Lip Gloss. The ingredient list is castor oil. Oil, raw honey, almond oil, sunflower oil, beeswax, grapefruit, essential oil, and vitamin E oil. I really like this because it has a really light, thin texture. It's not nearly as sticky as Hourglass's lip oil treatment. I love both, but I do think that this one is a little bit less maintenance, especially because I don't like my hair getting stuck into my lip gloss or lip products since it will leave red stains. <laughs> That's the only bad thing thus far about having red hair. And we did use a semi-permanent dye, which we will discuss more later. <laughs> and so because of that, I have to be really careful about where my hair goes these days. <laughs> so definitely give the True Self Organics products a try if you're interested in some more natural products. 
So next up we have skincare and I'm going to start with my SK Choose Illumination Aura Essence since I am nearly done with the first bottle. I already have another bottle waiting and I just love it that much. It is a serum that's perfect for layering because it's not too hydrating. It doesn't clog my pores, it doesn't break me out and it actually works. So it does make my skin look brighter, it has an exfoliating effect but it's gentle, it's effective and I do have slightly sensitive skin but I haven't had any bad or negative reactions with my SK2 Illumination products. So I really love the Aura Essence and uh, it takes it takes a lot for me to finish a skincare product. I have to really love it and so that's why I, I just want to update you and tell you that I'm almost done with my first bottle and I really do enjoy using it because it has shown results. And I do think that the effects are boosted by the SK2 Illumination Mask and Lotion. For those that have really dry skin or have found the Illumination Aura or a bright a little bit drying for if you use it by itself. As you have to remember that SK2 products are meant to be layered and some women layer 13 products every time they put on skincare so just keep in mind that not all SK2 products are super hydrating so that's why I use the SK2 Illumination mask and lotion before I apply the aura bright serum and that's because it really balances my skin the mask and lotion is great for those that don't have time for toner or masks very often because it really does the, the job of several skincare products. I put this on with a cotton pad and I just soak my face in it. This is probably one of the SK2 products that I really cannot live without and I always travel with this one because it's very soothing. But recently I discovered an SK2 product that is probably in my top three <laughs> and this is the SK2 whitening source mask. I love these SK2 whitening masks and these are actually my mom's favorite mask so I don't know why it took me so long to getting around to trying it but I love the gel formula and the cotton is so plush it really hydrates the skin my skin looks immediately brighter if you have a party or a red carpet event or just you want to look great for a date definitely take the extra 10 minutes in your routine to apply this mask and really enjoy the benefits of the skincare these do everything. They hydrate, comfort, soothe, whiten. They just are the perfect complexion booster. So that's why you need to try them. Next up we have some lip products. First I'll talk about my favorite red. This is the Giorgio Armani Rouge Armani and this is their signature shade. It's the one that all the celebrities wear on the red carpet and I love it. It's hydrating, long-lasting, semi-matte. It's the perfect red lipstick for most occasions. It just makes your teeth look brighter, it makes your complexion look more even, and, and it just makes you feel sexy. So if you are looking for a red lipstick to wear all year round, I used to be really self-conscious about wearing red, but these days I really love it. And it's not just because of my new hairdo, it's really because the older you get, the more you love red lipstick. It's just a natural transition. <laughs> Next we have the Bite High Pigment Pencil, and this is Cira, I think it is, and this is the most gorgeous peach. I have it layered on top of a Giorgio Armani, underneath a Giorgio Armani gloss today, just because I like the extra hydration, but these Bite Pencils are really amazing. I think they're a really great mid-range buy, and they are available at Sephora. I haven't found any shades that I really want yet, other than the other pink that I purchased at the same time as this one, but it's just so convenient to carry around in your purse, it's great for touch-ups, it provides precision, but full impact color, so I'm really loving these Bite Pencils and I'm definitely going to look into more Bite, so if you have any favorites, just leave them down for me in the comment section below so I can check them out. Next up I have the M Contour and Highlighting Stick. I actually like the darker contour side of medium, but I like the highlighter side of light better. So this one is super easy to use because it's in a stick form. I just feel like that takes the guesswork out of the product as opposed to seeing it in a pan, having to use a brush. I really like this one because it's natural. I don't like the drag queen inspired layered bronzer contour powder look. It's just too heavy, I think, for 
those who aren't taking photos all the time. So I think that if you're looking for a natural way to contour your face, make it look smaller, like I do with bronzer and blush, it's all an illusion, but it's a really effective one and you don't have to use that much to achieve it. So that's why I think if you're looking for a cream contour and you don't like to use bronzer, definitely give this one a try. Even though I'm not crazy about the cream contouring trend, I really do like this product because again, it's natural, subtle, and you can blend it out with your fingertips. Now for another product that I've been loving this month, this past month. This is the Lancome Grandiose Mascara, and it looks like a svelte perfume bottle. This mascara I love more and more every single time I use it. It's not perfect. If it were waterproof, it would be perfect, but I'm just waiting for that, which apparently is going to be released next year. One of my followers on Instagram mentioned it. So I'm excited for the release of Grandiose Waterproof next year, but I'm going to have to wait a full year. So until then, I'm just going to enjoy the non-waterproof version. And I have a tutorial using this showing my everyday eye makeup look which is the last video I posted, so definitely check that out if you want to see my five minute eye makeup routine. Really simple stuff. Okay, and now this is probably what a lot of you ladies have been waiting for, my hair talk. Oh, sorry, some gentlemen too. So this new Kerastase product is amazing. This is the, uh, if I can find the name. <laughs> this is the new Beautifying Oil Cream. It's a leave-in treatment, and there is glitter in it, which I don't like, but the rest of the product is awesome. It makes the ends of my hair feel healthier, my, my hair looks shinier, and it does smell good. So the one positive thing about Kerastase products that I always notice is whenever I walk by someone, even if I'm not wearing perfume, which I do tend to forget sometimes, especially with bow on my hands, a lot of people still tell me, hey, you smell really nice, what is that? And it's just my Kerastase product. So if you want to smell good, very little maintenance, use Kerastase right here. Now, Guy gave me new shampoo, a new hair care routine, and he bought me this Redken shampoo. This is the Color Extend Magneti Magnetics <laughs> Sulfate Free Shampoo. I have never tried Redken before, even though I had seen rave reviews on YouTube before. I just never got around to it. <laughs> but I, I think this is a relatively new shampoo. You can correct me if I'm wrong. But I really do like it. I'm not a huge fan of sulfate free shampoos because I honestly don't find that they make a huge difference in my hair. But I've never had red hair before. So I am excited to see if it actually does make a difference in the long run. I am just happy that I have found a Redken product that I really enjoy using. So I'm just broadening my horizons here as Guy would say. Day, I'm being a hair slut. <laughs> so yes, that's not a term I use often, but I am exploring my options when it comes to hair care, so I guess it's appropriate in this case. But I'm really happy, again, with the color. And in the photo that he posted on Instagram, that we posted on Instagram since I reposted his picture, <laughs> it was taken in bright lighting. So that's how my hair looks out in the sunlight. So it's a really vibrant red. And even when I look in the mirror, um, when I have an overhead light shining down on me, you can see how vibrant it is. It's a beautiful ruby red outdoors, but as you can see on camera, it's quite subtle. So I'm also hoping that you guys will love the hair color as much as I do, and it's okay if you don't. <laughs> I know a lot of you love it when I have jet black hair. It's just a little bit damaging. My hair just looked a little dry and old, so I figured why not change it and why not go for red? And I think finally that's a wrap for this video. I do apologize again for how late this favorites episode was, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. And if you have any further questions about the products that I featured today, or if you have questions about my hair, feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Bye.